Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to try out a new item that I've been setting my eyes on for such a long time and I finally found it in the grocery store. So here it is, ta-da! So these are self-heating hot pots. This is from Heidi Lau. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is really cool. Like I've been seeing this everywhere on social media. I think it's been around for quite some time, but I finally found them. On Amazon, these items range from $15 to $25 for one individual self-heating hot pot. So I didn't want to buy it on Amazon, but I was lucky enough to find these at H Mart for $10. So here I am today. Um, they're pretty heavy, so I feel like it's going to be pretty filling for one person, but I bought two different flavors so that I could show you what's inside. The first one that I have is the beef self-heating spicy flavor. And the second one is a spicy sausage Sichuan style hot pot. So let's try these out. All right, guys. So when you first open up this package, this is what you see. Okay, so here's the container where you're going to put all of your hot pot items. Inside, we also have a self-heating pack. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to remove this white self-heating pack from the plastic wrapper. Okay, and then you're going to place it inside. And basically there's a line here, which is super tiny, but up to here is where you want to fill up with water so that it'll activate the self-heating pack and it'll start to heat up and boil all of your hot pot items. In the spicy sausage package, we have vermicelli noodles. Here we go. So I'm going to place this in my container. And what's really cool is that each of these individual packaging has the nutrition facts on the back. So you can see how it's labeled, how many calories there are, the sodium content, things like that. Next we have pickled vegetables. I'm so excited. I freaking love hot pot and I don't live near a hot pot place. So I really have to go out of my way to eat this dish. This is what the pickled vegetables look like. It looks pretty legit and they look really crunchy. I'm really surprised by how they maintain the integrity of like the structure of the food. So super excited about that. Next is the Sichuan style spicy sausage. Next we have the spicy flavor hot pot seasoning packet. There's a lot of chili oil in here. Already from opening, I can smell. That smells so good. There's so much flavor. Lots of oil too. I don't know if I should actually drink this broth, but we'll see. These are all of the contents of the spicy sausage hot pot flavor for this brand. And basically what you want to do is you want to fill this up with water. Just like instant cup of noodles, there's a line here that indicates where you should fill up the water to. So I'm going to do this first before I activate the self-heating hot pack because again, I don't want to burn my fingers. So let's do this. I need some more water. One second. Okay, so now I filled it up all the way to the line. Ooh, don't want to spill that. And I'm gonna put water up to this line to activate the self-heating pack. I'm gonna place this right on the top very carefully. So what's really cool is that when you place the hot pot container on top, it kind of levitates so that it's not directly touching the heat pack. And so it'll kind of steam and boil at the same time. And you want to put on the cover immediately because this self-heating hot pack heats up really quickly. There's actually a hole here so that the water can steam out. And isn't that crazy? This is literally five seconds after I placed the heating pack and the water together and I assembled this. Already, there's so much steam coming out. I 
after a few minutes the initial steaming it's gonna quiet down and you're not gonna hear anything but it still needs plenty of time at least 15 minutes to cook and steam and fully boil everything I really want to open it all right so I think the spicy sausage flavor is all ready so let's give this a try Ooh, it's hot oh my gosh yo guys this looks legit there's so much flavor going on okay I'm gonna try the vermicelli noodles first Wow. Wow, you get a kick of that Sichuan spice just kind of punching your throat. But it's so tasty. There is a lot of chili oil, so when you take a bite, you kind of feel the oil coat just every corner of your lip and your mouth. But wow, this really smells and tastes like an authentic hot pot. The Sichuan flavor is really dominant. I feel like I might need some rice with this actually. <laughs> Even the smell is like <sighs> it's clearing up my sinuses. This is spicier than I thought it was gonna be, but it's so delicious. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try the beef flavor right now. First impression, the smell is almost identical. And I think the flavor seasoning is literally the same. Yeah, it's the same flavor. I'm coughing not because it's bad, but because the spice just kind of like, whew, like punches your throat when you first take a bite. But it's a really delicious spice, like very reminiscent of hot pot that you would get at restaurants. It's really impressive how they even managed to maintain the crunch of the vegetables. So this is the potato. super crunchy it's not mushy at all i'm gonna try the beef okay, the beef is really tasty it kind of reminds me of the type of beef that you would find in those canned um beef stews but it's incredibly tender it's delicious super crunchy I will say though that not only is it incredibly numbing spice but it's also kind of salty so I feel like you're gonna need a lot of water when you eat this this brand has a variety of flavors I actually got to try their beef tomato flavor as well I think that one was more balanced in flavor in terms of the level of spice saltiness it literally tasted like a tomato beef stew and it was super hearty and comforting so that's the flavor i would probably recommend if you want to take one of these on the go next time because i feel like even as i took one bite of this flavor the spicy flavors already my mouth is feeling so numb and tingly and coated in oil and super thirsty so i will probably recommend that one if you're looking for a portable self-heating meal if you're craving hot pot 
intensely during quarantine and you really just want to eat this from the comfort of your home, this isn't a bad option. So since these are literally the same flavors with the same contents, I'm just going to try a sausage from the spicy sausage version just so I can tell you what the meat tastes like. So here it is. So this sausage was dried and it was preserved in a tight airless seal so I feel like it's not going to be as moist inside but it might taste a little bit like beef jerky almost so we'll see. The texture tastes like almost beef jerky like but just kind of place blanched in hot water. <laughs> the flavor is actually really good. It's sweet, it's salty, it's slightly spicy, but I do wish that it had cooked a little bit longer because it's not really tender as the beef. Because the beef was packaged in um, its own broth and juices, I think that's why it's been able to retain its tenderness. But with the sausage, because it was packaged as a dry meat, it's definitely not tender, but still delicious flavor-wise. So while the flavors of these self-heating hot pots are still very delicious, it is still a bit salty and a bit spicy for me. So I don't think that I'll be able to finish even one of these. What I'm thinking about doing is probably just throwing them all together in one big pot, adding a ton of water and boiling it one more time just to kind of even out and balance out the sodium levels. But overall, this is a pretty impressive meal, especially one that's portable and self-heating on its own. You don't even have to boil water. It does that for you. So if you're looking for one of these in the market, definitely give it a try. I do recommend some of the more milder flavors because I feel like you won't have to chug like a ton of water. And I definitely feel like you can also share one of these with one other person. Maybe have a bowl of rice with you to eat with the pickled vegetables and the noodles and even the seasoning just drizzle some of that chili oil over the top i'm thinking about eating this with some of the leftover fried rice that i have in my fridge right now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this quick video about what a self-heating hot pot is like if you want to see more videos please let me know in the comments down below what type of content you're interested in seeing and i will do my best to make that happen make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys again next time bye